Station four, Jesus is crucified. The reading for this station is from the Gospel of John, chapter 19, verses one through three, and verses 16 through 22. Then Pilate took Jesus and had him flogged. And the soldiers wove a crown of thorns and put it on his head, and they dressed him in a purple robe. They kept coming up to him saying, Hail, King of the Jews, and striking him on the face. Then he handed him over to them to be crucified. So they took Jesus and carrying the cross by himself, he went out to what is called the place of the skull, which in Hebrew is called Golgotha. There they crucified him and with him two others, one on either side, with Jesus between them. Pilate also had an inscription written and put on the cross. It read, Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews. Many of the Jews read this inscription because the place where Jesus was crucified was near the city, and it was written in Hebrew, in Latin, and in Greek. Then the chief priests of the Jews said to Pilate, do not write the King of the Jews, but this man said, I am the king of the Jews. Pilate answered, what I have written, I have written. For reflection, try to reassemble the paper you tore in the first two stations.
a prayer by Pastor David Ron. Eternal God, you who are present with us, even in our time of sadness and fear, we gather in worship this day with troubled hearts. It is hard for us to hear the story of our Savior and his suffering on the cross. We are saddened by this image we read about. It touches us deeply within our soul. In all this, we feel sorrow and darkness seems to overcome us. Like the disciples, we are afraid. We turn our eyes away from the cross. We gather here to consecrate that time of the suffering and death. And as we come together, may the bonds of friendship, the love of those gathered, the support of the words we hear, help us to renew and strengthen our faith. For the deepest darkness is overcome by the light. The pain and suffering of the cross are transformed by the hope of resurrection that is to come. Our own doubts and fears are answered by the forgiveness and compassion of those we love and who love us. And so as we gather at this time together to honor a day that took place so many years ago, yet is still alive in our hearts today, be with us today, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.